German motorhome and caravan manufacturer Heimer reveals its vision venture camper van concept. The model imagines van life in the future, but not that far into the future, in the year 2025 to be precise. The concept is based on the latest Mercedes-Benz Sprinter and has the features of a small luxury apartment. The camper spans over two floors with an interior featuring warm bamboo, gray felt, and leather. Upstairs, a two-person bed is integrated into a pneumatically operated pop-top that opens up to form a small balcony. Below, a main living area boats a kitchen and a transforming bathroom featuring a rolling wall and rotating vanity sink to create a separate rain shower. The living area is located at the back of the camper where two white sofas and a fold-out table form a dining area. Panoramic and large side windows open to the outdoors while the rear door also folds to create a rear deck complete with slide-out electric grill. To make the most of space, Heimer has optimized the proportions of the Sprinter chassis redesigning the pillars, hood, and windshield of the vehicle. The Vision Venture's full technical specifications remain unknown for now and Heimer hasn't announced plans to bring the Vision Venture to production. There is still a few years before 2025 though. Built on a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis, Vision Venture is a concept vehicle whose integrative front design has created a new motorhome category all of its own, replacing precise contours with harmonious transitions between cab and body. The chassis cowl with its original doors, the headlights and the radiator grille have all been retained, but the windscreen has been shifted further forward and the A-pillar, bonnet and rooflight have been redesigned. One of Sportsmobile's most popular product lines is the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 4x4. The 4x4 option offers the Expedition and Adventure Traveler a great platform. The Sprinter 4x4 opens up a new realm of possibilities for the weekend warrior looking to get a little further off the beaten path. The Sprinter is available with a 4x4 high, low configuration in both the 144 and 170 wheelbase models. The 4x4 option offers a 35 65 front to rear power ratio while the low range adds a 40% gear reduction, with a corresponding increase of torque to the wheels. The Sprinter 4x4 comes equipped with the highest performance powertrain option currently offered in the US Sprinter, the 3.0-liter Bluetech V6, which produces 188 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque, mated to a 5-speed automatic transmission. The van is raised 4.3 inches in the front and 3.1 inches in the Peugeot and Citroen, part of the same PSA automaker, have just added the third in a series of van concepts designed to get people to the outdoors. It started with the somewhat compact Citroen Space Tourer 4x4e concept a couple of years ago, and continued with the even smaller Peugeot Rifter 4x4. Now the company has focused on the other end of the spectrum with the full-size Peugeot Boxer 4x4 shown above. The Boxer looks quite rugged with its off-road lights mounted in the high roof. It has all-wheel drive and all-terrain tires, the latter of which likely contribute to the increased ground clearance. It also features a roof rack with a canoe that's accessible via a ladder. As rugged as it looks, its size will hamper its off-road capability. For tighter trails, the Rifter concept would be better. Of course, the Boxer also features an electric Peugeot mountain bike, so you can park the van and explore deeper into the backcountry on the bike. The Boxer's large size also means you get much larger living space, whereas the Rifter left you with a rooftop tent. Inside the Boxer is a convenient pop-up table for dining or working or whatever else you might want to do on a table. And there's surely enough room to stretch out with sleeping bags or air mattress. If you like what you see here, the good news is that you could probably replicate the van, here, in the US. The Boxer is the same as the American Ram Promaster, and both are rebadged versions of the Fiat Ducato. The only thing that might not be easily replicated is the all-wheel Camper vans usually sleep two to four people on a combination of rear bed and optional pop-up roof bed. Occasionally we see a van that can sleep five or six. The latest box life from Germany's Knaus goes a step further, sleeping up to seven people on four available lift-away and stowaway beds. That's impressive enough, but the van's variable, multifunctional furniture also allows campers to clear out the load area to pack in bikes, boards and other gear for the trip. All in all, it's an outdoor adventure powerhouse. Knaus revamped the Fiat Ducato-based box life this year, declaring it an ultra-flexible space for travel and recreation.
The 630ME floor plan is the highlight of the lineup, a 250-in long van that starts with one standard rear bed. Set longitudinally for full comfort, this 77x67-in bed features a manual multi-stage adjustment system that lets you set it at different heights. Lift it up high to store large gear during the ride, then drop it down to sleeping height at night, much like on Knaus VW box drive. That makes the base van a versatile, little two-sleeper. Where the Boxlife 630ME pulls speedily away from other vans in terms of sleeping capacity and versatility is in its full selection of optional add-on beds. The first of these beds mounts below the rear lift-away bed, creating a bunk bed layout that sleeps two more people on a larger 80 by 72 in 202 by 184 cm lower longitudinal mattress. Moving to the front of the van, buyers can add two more sleeping berths via the available 76 by 51 in 194 by 130 cm lift-away bed. Below, an available convertible dinette kit adds a final 63 by 24 in 160 by 60 cm single bed to round out the seven available berths. Adjust the beds out of the way during the day. Heimer's entry-level campervan, the Free Range, has been based solely on Fiat's Staccato. Until now. Meet the Free S600 based on the front-wheel drive Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. The standard Free S600 comes with a 143 bhp engine, start, stop and crosswind assist. Options include active distance and blind spot assistance, 9-speed automatic transmission and the MBUX dashboard. The Free S600 has new, more comfortable passenger and driver seats, two rear travel seats with isofix points for child seats as an option, ambient lighting, plus matte white and oak wood, silver decor. There's a slide-out folding step to the 1.95 meters transverse bed, a handy space-saving feature. The kitchen comes from the Fiat-based free model with a 90-liter compressor fridge, along with 100-liter freshwater tank and an 85-liter wastewater tank with electric drainage as standard. The optional pop-up roof means it can sleep up to four people. The company also also revealed its production Duo Car S. The compact 5.93 meters 2 berth model is being built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter with the 143 bhp engine. Inside, the side sofa turns into a 2 meter long double bed and has storage space below. If you need more or alternative bed space, you can opt for a pop-up roof, but there are still only two travel seats. The kitchen has a 70 liter compressor fridge, while the washroom is at the back, featuring a recessed shower tray and a pull-out toilet. A wardrobe in the bathroom means you can use the space as a dressing room. You also get a diesel heater, instead of gas heating. With a 93-liter fuel tank, and an optional smart battery system, you can remain self-sufficient for longer. This smart battery system manages energy storage, combining the benefits of lithium and lead batteries. You should be able to stay self-sufficient for nearly 10 days, according to Heimer. The Fiat Ducato Show Camper Van 4x4 Expedition was presented, in World Preview, at the Dusseldorf Caravan Salon. Fiat Professional, European leader in camper van bases for the recreational vehicle conversion sector, could not miss the appointment with the most important international trade event which will be taking place from August 28 to September 6. With the Fiat Ducato 4x4 Expedition, Fiat Professional is reaching out to holiday makers who want to keep off the beaten track with a vehicle which is high-performing and agile for long-distance journeys, with a roomy, comfortable living space. Offering a welcoming and comfortable car-like drive, it provides outstanding visibility and enjoyment. Furthermore, thanks to an exceptional roof height, there is plenty of headroom for even those who are standing. Built on the Fiat Ducato's best-selling camper chassis, with long wheelbase and extra overhang, Fiat Ducato 4x4 Expedition is equipped with a 2.3-liter 150 HP engine, which is best in class for both efficiency and emissions. The engine is combined with a four-wheel drive technology, developed by Dangle, which makes tackling the most demanding roads easy. The 4x4 Expedition show van is made in collaboration with Technoform, the superior recreational vehicle furniture maker. The four-wheel drive system developed by Dangle and Olmedo allows for body customization. The Exhibition show van is a special configuration which will not be marketed. 
Fiat Ducato 4x4 Expedition will be aiming to reach out and establish a direct link between the Fiat professional brand and visitors to the stand in Dusseldorf as well as other specialized trade shows, welcoming visitors to answer a questionnaire and express their expectations and views on van segment products and services. New 2020 Winnebago Bolt 70 kL Over the past eight years Winnebago has been the market share leader in camper van life revolution, and now leads in innovation with the first fuel-efficient Mercedes-Benz VS30 van partnered with the Pure 3 Volta Power Systems Lithium Energy System, providing a generator-free stealth-like hashtag van life experience with the 2020 Winnebago Bolt. The Pure 3 Volta Power Systems Automotive Grade 48 volts energy pack provides 11,600 watt-hours of energy. The energy pack is watertight, durable with the steel housing being the safest on the market, and batteries are climate-controlled. The Pure 3 provides complete 30 AMP whole coach electricity using a 3,600 watt PureSign inverter. The Bolt's dedicated 58-volt alternator, or underhood generator, is twice as powerful as competitors. Its compact design keeps it out of the way of curbs and road debris and provides quick recharge time. The MPPT Solar Controller provides best-in-class solar absorption, up to 30% better than competitors, giving you more off-the-grid performance. Call us to schedule your live video appointment today to see this RV live in the comfort of your home. This coach is powered by the tried-and-true, fuel-efficient Mercedes-Benz VS30 powertrain, with interior aesthetic upgrades similar to what is in the Mercedes S-Class luxury auto. The new Mercedes-Benz VS30 Sprinter. 3.0-liter six-cylinder turbo diesel. 325 pound-feet of torque or power. 188 horsepower. 7-speed automatic 7G Tronic plus transmission with grade braking. Powered sliding patio side entry cargo door. MBUX infotainment, make trips more enjoyable with the new Sprinter's multitude of sophisticated MBUX infotainment optional features, including an oversized 10-inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and Sirius XM satellite radio. Europeans are so used to the idea of the T6-based Volkswagen California that it's become something of an institution. The California follows a long tradition of camper vans that reach back to the early split-screen VW buses. VW isn't the only manufacturer building its own camper, but the German brand is the most established, and it's branching out with a bigger model, the Grand California. It's based on the European market crafter commercial van, a vehicle, which, like the T6 beneath it, isn't offered to US customers, so despite a likely appetite for it, VW's camper vans aren't available in a country where one of the states lends its name to the model. The Grand California is a van you could realistically live in without many compromises. The T6 California needs the amenities of a campsite to be truly comfortable, but the Grand California has the space to carry everything you need to live off-grid. There are two sizes available the 600 and the 680, the latter being the longer of the two. The shorter 600 gets a higher roof that makes room for a cubby sleeping area that's big enough to hold a couple of adventurous kids and allows the model, which also features a generously proportioned double bed, for a total of four sleeping spots. Somewhat perversely, the larger 680 only offers sleeping for two. Unlike in the T6.1 California, that bed's pretty much fixed in position, it does fold up to access ample storage underneath, which means there's no need to pop a rooftop tent when it's time to bunk down. Instead, you simply put the van in park, stroll through the cabin, and collapse on the big, well-sprung bed, with a 29-gallon, 110-liter, freshwater tank and coach batteries linked to solar panels, the Grand California allows owners to stop wherever they like. An onboard toilet, shower, and bathroom sink further adds to its versatility. If you're completely at one with nature, then the outdoor shower attachment affords Grand California owners to get a good scrub in before bed. More likely, though, owners will use the setup to clean muck off bikes, see water off wetsuits, or wash dirty pets. Germany's Frankia doesn't just name its new camper van, Yukon, to send visions of epic trips amidst colossal mountains and glacial turquoise dancing through your head. Naming the Sprinter van after Canada's sparsely populated Northwestern Territory also emphasizes the sheer feeling of size and space inside. With the Yukon, Frankia packs a roomy living area derived from its larger motorhomes within the compact driving footprint of a camper van. 
Clever space-saving features slide and swivel throughout this microliner. Frankia has traditionally stayed on the motorhome side of the market, building large Class A and C RVs atop chassis from Mercedes and other makes. That experience shines through in the brand's first camper van, as Frankia strives to give the Yukon a Class C feel inside the factory walls of a third-gen Sprinter van. The new van line promotes the idea of enjoying trips, from the inside out, relishing your time between the Mercedes badges as much as or even more than you enjoy exploring the world outside the van. The hash van life movement seems to be very much the driver of Frankia's camper van campaign, and both Yukon models are two sleepers perfect for youthful couples bounding from place to place. Each floor plan puts emphasis on the rear bedroom area, as if carefully arranged to serve as window dressing for Instagram photos of underwear-clad, golden-haired females mesmerized by orange sunlight spilling across the ocean beyond the rear double doors. Frankia doesn't simply support van lifers by making living in a van possible but by making it downright comfy and enjoyable. The king of that category is the flagship 274 in 697cm Yukon 7.0 lounge, which finds its legs on a Mercedes Sprinter 170 with super high roof. Loaded with space-optimizing innovations, this van follows directly in the footsteps of the future concept layout that Frankia experimented with at last year's Dusseldorf Caravan Salon, abandoning the conventional camper van formula of rear bed central kitchen, bathroom front dining lounge for something more spacious and homey. Frankia designers worked extensively on the eponymous lounge in the rear, where occupants enjoy an L-shaped sofa and plenty of elbow room. The versatile layout allows for both vis-a-vis -vis seating around the removable pedestal table and multi-person sofa seating facing the passenger side entertainment unit, much the way one would do in a residential living room or TV room. We're always on the lookout for new camper vans, and the latest to catch our eye is the Mode 4x4 from Alabama-based storyteller Overland. Over the past year we've seen a range of new camper vans custom built for biking, skiing, or even snowmobiling adventures. Love campers and trailers? Come join our community group. Unlike custom conversion vans, however, Storyteller Overland is offering a single product that aims to compete with the Winnebago Revel and Airstream Class Bs. And like these larger companies, the Mode 4x4 is offered through a nationwide network of dealers. To begin, potential buyers need to decide their base van, either a 144-inch Mercedes Sprinter with factory four-wheel drive or a 148-inch Ford Transit with an aftermarket Quigley 4x4. On these relatively short wheelbases the Mode 4x4 packs a lot into a small space. The exterior foregoes traditional, and rather boring, RV design for a sleek red and yellow stripe. Inside, a kitchen block sits inside the sliding door and boasts an electric cooktop, a refrigerator, and a sink. Across from the cooking area sits a dual seat bench that can work in a seated position for eating before also laying flat for use as a bed. Swivel cab seats and an adjustable table round out the eating area up front, while a rear flip away bed takes advantage of flared sides in order to sleep widthwise. In a lot of ways, this is a standard setup for a converted van. But what about a bathroom? That can be hard to fit in a van this size, and is why some people go without them, but Storyteller Overland manages to fit it in with a floor. The Fiat Ducato is one of the oldest nameplates on our roads, which the first generation being launched back in 1981. This van was built in Fiat's Val di Sangro and also badged as a Citroën, Peugeot, Talbot and Alfa Romeo. The second generation was launched in 1993 and this third came along in 2006. Having received only minor facelifts since 2006, the Fiat Ducato is now the oldest van on the commercial market. New safety features like the exterior, interior architecture of the Ducato hasn't changed but the technology inside has. At the center of the upgrade is the rollout of new Addis advanced driver assistance systems and new comfort features including. Blind Spot Assist BSA. This helps identify approaching vehicles in blind spots using the radar in the rear bumper. Rear Cross The Citroen Jumper Biker Solution Multi is the French brand's latest camper capable of hauling your outdoor toys, and this new model expands the motorhome's strengths by adding the ability to haul things like an ATV or go-kart, according to New Atlas. Like the existing Citroen Jumper Biker Solution, you can still fit a pair of motorcycles in the back, too. 
The Multi has stowable ramps for rolling your ATV inside the van. If that job is too tough, there's also a winch to haul the vehicle into the cabin. Available brackets over a spot to attach motorcycles, so there's no concern about them tipping over while you're driving. The van's amenities include a fold-out bed that fits two people and another sleeping spot for two when the roof pops up. The kitchenette includes a cooktop, sink, and refrigerator. There are also several cabinets in the walls for stowing your gear. When it's time to relax after a day of riding, the Multi has an extending exterior awning. A diesel heater helps keep the interior warm on chilly nights. It's doubtful that you'd need to haul your outdoor vehicle all the time, so a removable rear seat can mount in the back when you want to use the space for carrying people instead of machines. In Germany, the Biker Solution Multi starts at €51,100 at current exchange rates. Unfortunately, since Citroen doesn't have a presence in the United States,